Hello everyone, Pazu here. Welcome back to Memento Mori 2. So we have all four pictures now. And um so say there's a party going on in the office. <laughs> Let's join them. <laughs> Alright, so what's up guys? Kochu and Diego, they're both here. Kotu got us a catalogue of Annunciation paintings. Now we'll see if I was right, and if we really can find the original of those wall paintings in it. To get the catalogue was quite easy. What are we going to do next? Whatever it takes. And what about you, Diego? Diego will help me look for the template of those paintings. Two heads are better than one, and his head is really sharp. This time we have to be really particular about it. It seems to me it makes Renier quite nervous. I'd say she's under pressure from the bosses to show off to those Americans. Okay, so let's take a look at the catalog. Comparison of paintings and photos. Okay, so this is the catalog. Kotu managed to get a catalog of the most widely known paintings of the Annunciation unbelievably quickly. So suppose I have to use the photos here. The first photo of the painting from the crime scene. Alright, let's use them on the catalog. So let's see if we can find something interesting. If you find some similarities, then insert a note with the letter of that particular photo to that page. But we'll all look at it, won't we? No chance. We don't want to restrain your clever mind. After all, you've shown you're in the same form as before the... the break. Yeah, it will be good to know our boss is on the ball. Huh. So it's not gonna be teamwork. We're going solo. Alright, um... The tags are right here. I'll use these tags to identify the paintings. So I'm looking for this picture right now. Um, let's go through the catalog. Huh, not this one. To identify a painting, I probably should use the tags with letters on them. Federico Barocci, Maria degli Angeli. Hmm, it's Barocci too. He made this painting several years later. It's almost identical to the previous one, but I see some differences there. Wait, is it this one? Um... It's at a different angle, but... They have the same configuration, the two hands. Right here. And this flower... Yep, there's a flower right here. And the wings? Yeah, I think it is this one. Um... Yep, let's put the tag, the A tag here. Alright, next picture. Another photo of a part of the painting. Alright, let's see. Francesco Albani, The Annunciation. Well, this one. Jean Hay, The Annunciation. Uh, nope. Leonardo da Vinci, The Annunciation. Domenico Becciofumi, The Annunciation. Bartolome Murillo, Annunciation. Uh. El Greco, Annunciation. Still no match. Sandro Botticelli. Chastello Annunciation. Nope. Philippe de Champagne, L'Annunciation. Paolo de Mateus, The Annunciation. Uh, Pietro Perugino, The Annunciation. Uh, how many are there? Still no match. Oh, wait, is it this one? Bayerischer Meister, Verkundigun an Maria. Yes, it's this one's two hands, the long hair, and the band around her neck. Yep, it's this one. 
Let's put a B tag on here. Now, next picture. The third detail of the painting. I can clearly see Angel's wings. So, crossing her hands. Peter Paul Rubens, The Annunciation. Roger van Fenderweiden, The Annunciation. Okay, that's the last one. So, an angel crossing her hands. Um... Is it this one? Uh... See these two tiny flowers here? Yep, it has two right here. Yes, I think this is C. Okay, let's put a tag. Now, the last picture. The last part of the painting. I hope it will be of some use. So, looks like the angel is flying. Or leaning forward. Uh, is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Okay, let's put a D tag. So? All parts of that wall painting represent various paintings with the motif of the Annunciation. So it's really the work of some fanatic. Those technicians are dead. So far, no one has said they're dead. Not all of them, anyway. That's not important now. We have to check it out one more time so we don't overlook anything. Not the smallest thing. Do you mean anything particular? Um, details in the photos. Blood. Quality of work. Okay, why don't we choose, um... Details or quality of work? Okay, let's choose that. Hasn't it occurred to you how much those paintings resemble the original? It can't have been easy to do it from memory. Yes. Did he have a copy with him? Those proportions. In fact, everything. That man has been painting for a long time. He definitely knows what he's doing. Interesting point. I'll surely add that to the report. But that gets us back to those technicians. I've already heard about Argo. They aren't common structural engineers or technicians. Most of them do restoration. And they may be able to do something like that. In the meantime, I'll try to get more info about those paintings. I'll try to find something, too. Right. I'm going to do that report. It won't write itself. All right, so write a report. How do I do that? With the computer? Um, let's see. I use it mostly for sending emails. The access to Interpol databases is a bit complicated for my whole department because of Renier. We'll try to be as brief as possible. No one ever bothers to read long reports. All right, it's done. Let's see what Diego and Kotu have managed to put together so far. All right, so... Let's go back out and talk to Kotu near the reception desk. And Diego is here too. Two tickets landed on my desk yesterday for an interesting concert. Concert? Aren't those the tickets to... No, that's impossible. They've got to be sold out already. Well, for common people, they definitely are. If someone owes me a big favor. Why me? Any woman would gladly throw herself at you for those tickets. But why, senorita? Am I Casanova or something? <laughs> why should I be interested in some woman I don't even know? It's how they spare tickets, so I told myself, why don't you invite one of your clients? And so you came to me. So I came to you.
absolutely set. Should I go after him? Who would you wish that on? told you I'm doing it just out of team spirit, didn't I? In that case, the ticket definitely isn't free anymore. Oh. Agreed. And then we could go for a little decent dinner, a small little place, a meal, a glass of short fries, and then how about it? So I'm going to count on it. Now, only what to wait. Huh. Looks like they're going on a date. Good for them. <laughs> Let's talk to him. <laughs> Let's cut so in. So? I have something here. I've added it to Kotu's findings, but it's not much. If you find it interesting, send it together with the report. Well, there are a couple of interesting things there. So, let's take a look. Information about the paintings. It should contain all the information that Interpol has about the paintings I identified in the photos. So, Lara, here is some additional information about the artworks from which the paintings are inspired. I won't write the basic things like dates, authors, and such. I instead write just a couple of points of interest. Imagine that there are two references mentioning Max. Huh. It probably has some value as information, and so we may add it to the official report. Domenico de Passe Becca Fumi, Annunciation. Pekafumi's work is interesting mostly because it's liking any date and the author's signature. Because of that, there were attempts to dispute his authorship of some of his work. But the Annunciation is one of the paintings whose authorship is disputed. The painting is stored in Sartian, Siena. According to unofficial information on a uh, certain French painter, MD, tried to sell a copy of this painting in St. Petersburg. Apparently he was caught, but the records provided by Department 12 from St. Petersburg are silent about the incident. Bayersha Meister Vekudi Gun Amaria There is no detail entry about this painting in any of our databases. We sent a formal request to the uh, Kun Kunstheis in Zurich. The answer should arrive in several days. Philippe de Champagne, L. Annunciation. This painting is displayed in the Metropolitan Museum of New York, which refused to lend it to the French Baroque art exhibition in the Louvre. But because said painting was already mentioned in the exhibition's promotional materials, it was decided to display its duplicate, custom painted by French painter Maxime Durand. Huh, so, Federico Fiore Barocci, Annunciation. In the year 2002, the Viennese police were approached by a man who bought this painting from an unknown foreigner and later found out his plagiary, whose original was displayed in Perugia, Italy. The foreigner, identified as Juan Joaquim Hergat, was arrested in Berlin thanks to an international warrant. He pled guilty. According to available information, his work was a uh, quite questionable quality and he was able to sell it only because the buyer had neither knowledge of art nor any information. Huh. Max's name connected with those paintings? What does it mean? Why now? Why just now? Why can't I have a little rest? Even chance conspires against me. Or maybe not. But what could it be? An omen? Are you alright? Uh, what? I just want to know if you're all right. You're as pale as a sheet. Maybe you should have some rest. It's your first day here, after all. Why stress yourself? Go home. Get some sleep. Me and Kotu will manage somehow. In fact, everything is almost done. We only have to send it. Would you really take care of that report? I could use a bit of rest, that's for sure. Sure, I just need to send it. Don't knock yourself out. I don't want to regret persuading you to return to the job. Something's going on, Diego. Something really weird. Do you think you could omit the irrelevant things from the summary? We don't need to flood the FBI with information having, in fact, no connection with the case. 
Irrelevant stuff, but I told you. I see, of course, irrelevant stuff connected to... someone. Understood. Why confuse them more than necessary, right? I'll adjust that. Lara, I almost forgot. Someone called you. All right, so 